All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video. It's like six o'clock in the morning, 6.30 in the morning, and we're headed out for a six day road trip to El Paso and to RGV. So I'm just gonna try to vlog the entire trip and give you guys a real behind the scenes look at a long week long trip for two away games. So hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. I just landed in Dallas, we got a shore layover, and then we're gonna head out to El Paso. <laughs> Let's do it. Come on, bro. I apologize. See, we do photo shoots, but you don't like the camera? Yeah. <laughs> I do it by the, force. You yeah, love you the camera. Face, Not yeah, by yeah. force. Toby. Look at Toby, you're gonna start flexing his diet, bro. Like he's light skinned. <laughs> like <skin. laughs> like skin. I'm pretty dark. <laughs> Yo, Sheldon, how's this for the Bay of Paso? That feels amazing. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful city. <laughs> oh my god, what a Lonzo <laughs> ball answer. Lonzo. Who's up? Who's up? Oh, why you so put the flash on his face table. though? I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I got nothing to ask you. <laughs> Is it cause oh, I'm there's cute? more flash. <laughs> there's more flash. What an idiot. <laughs> Typical hotel room. Roommate check. Mason. Check. As always, as usual, as per usual, Mason Steidahar. You excited to be in El Paso? I am excited to be in El Paso. This is your first time? Yes. I'm on too, actually. Basically right now it's like one o'clock in the afternoon, I eat, and then we leave for training at like 2.30. It's a typical before game training, so it's gonna be light, doing some tactical work, you know, but also get the body going, and then some set pieces, and then we just have a dinner later tonight, and then pretty much, like as always, just waiting around, hang out until the game time tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, all right, where, what does that mean, where we're headed? We are headed to training at Southwest University Park, El Paso Locomotive Stadium. Amazing. Yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> My lord! Coffer. 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 Okay, so it's like 4.30 in the afternoon, just got back from training. Training was pretty uh, short, sharp, and just worked in like a lot of tactical stuff, some set pieces at the end and all that stuff. 
Um, it's hot outside though, but it's so funny because we're just one state over, Oklahoma versus Texas, but the heat here is such a desert dry, like your mouth completely gets dry after like 10 seconds out running around, while in Oklahoma it's so wet and humid and you just sweat so much more. It's just very different and I, both suck, but, uh, but it's hot here too. It's like almost 100 degrees today. Um, the good thing is we play at night tomorrow, so it should cool down and it won't be humid, which will be, I think will be nicer. I think it'll be better to play here than in Oklahoma than in Tulsa. So yeah, all good. We get, di we have dinner in like two hours, so it's kind of just free time. I'll just probably edit this up, do a little bit of work, but yeah, good training session, all good. And, uh, just ready for tomorrow. After training, I made a TikTok about us playing foot volley with the table and I had some music and everything. And I, like I said, I'm really enjoying making content for TikTok, but here's the video right now. I loved um, and it's gaining Six traction by me, by the way. That was him, yeah. Goalkeeper with the good touches. That's why you work on your touch, goalkeepers. But we're out to head out to dinner. If you're not on TikTok, then get TikTok and follow me. If you're on TikTok, then follow me. It's a movement. Get around it. It's a movement. Get around it. That was dinner. Good. And what, are you, what have you been up to? Um, I watched the final episode of Eastbound and Down. You've been watching that for like the last three weeks. Yeah, last like two weeks. Two yeah, weeks. I, I you crossed, powered it out? I, yeah, <laughs> I Kenny powered it out, yeah. yeah you Kenny powered it out. I like <laughs> that. I like that. How was it? Scale from 1 to 10, what did you rate it? 10. 10, 10 out of 10. It's stupid humor, so I enjoyed it's it. It's really, yeah. I, oh, I gotta show you the uh, some of the outtakes of it. I remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's watch that. Um, but anyway, it's like 9 o'clock at night, 8 o'clock at night. 8 o'clock, to go to it's bed. It's pretty now. much just, yeah, watch YouTube videos, hang out, chill, and then go to bed uh, around like what, 9? 10? Yeah, I think I might fall asleep before that. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, it's game day. So, we've just been waiting around. We woke up around like 7 o'clock in the morning. Mason said he woke up at like 5.30 in the morning. Um, but we don't have breakfast till 9, so we've been chilling, doing nothing, kind of just hanging out. Mason's over there. Uh, this is the slowest day, because we have this breakfast at 9, and then the next thing we have is not until like 1, and that's a team meeting and team lunch. So, yeah, just, just chilling, hanging out. Mason, what's your plan for today? I'm gonna chill on though. Just Chillin' fam. Cholando. <laughs> nice Spanish. <laughs> just back from breakfast now. It's 9.40. So now we have like three and a half hours just to chill. Um, maybe watch a movie, take a nap, maybe go down to the gym, do a little bit of activation just to get a little bit of the blood flowing. Um, but during this time, it's just kind of drink water, drink some fluids, hydrate and just relax, stay off your feet, and uh, just kind of wait it out. It's kind of like the worst part, because you just want to play so bad, but um, it's good. <laughs> just waiting for the game. Feel my milk Peru. Whoa, 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 I don't know what that means. All right, Mason, say, say exactly what you just said to me. I don't like the afternoons on game days because we have two and a half hours of nothing after a morning of nothing. Exactly. We literally, and people, like, this is what I didn't understand, too. I thought, like, if you're a pro, your life is so crazy. You know, you only see, like, the game days and stuff. Or, like, not even the game days, just the games, you know? I mean, even training days, you come home from training and then you don't really do much. Yeah, yeah. But you honestly. You have work and stuff, but most people just come home and chill. For yeah. half the day. And we've been lying in bed all day. We, we took a nap. I mean, I went to the gym and did like activation session. Besides that, yeah. lying in bed watching watching shows. Yeah, watching shows, watching YouTube channel, and just li and just chilling. Because, I mean, we're in a hotel in El Paso. What, what are we supposed to do, you know? Yeah, I mean, and you don't want to go out and expend energy, obviously. Yeah. Because you have a match tonight. So It's, it's tough, but it's, just, it's funny. It's just kind of boring. But game days are boring, but then you're just so excited too about actually playing. It's like all the excitement of one day is crammed into a three hour experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a really good way to put it. Yeah. yeah. All right, so it's 4.30, which means I'm gonna shower, change, pack up, and then we head down to the lobby. This is this is the fun part. This is the start of the fun part, finally, at 4.32 in the afternoon. Come on, you can do kill! Oh.
Toko usually not quite that far up. Gomez to the left. Partida back to Gomez. Popped across, trying to knot it down. It's just over. Chiro and Toko challenged. One against two, trying to go to the corner. And it'll be stolen away by Altamirano. Gives off. Cross to the far post. Knotted down. Ketterer off the pipes and out. They're going to call that a goal. They're going to call it a goal. And we talked about it earlier in, in, in finding that balance between wanting to play that style and play out of those dangerous areas. And Rezin will put one up the left wing side. Marlon all the way to the back line. Good force by Locomotive FC, but back it'll come and into the back of the net. It's 2-0. Altamirano all day to set it where he wanted it. Fox trying to push one through. And now on the counter, here comes Marlon. Marlon will take a hit himself and tipped over the bar by Ketterer. Side behind him, and every time they win the ball back, it's immediately how quickly can they find Marlon to, to get going forward. Owes a bit defensively. He's also looking to capitalize on that. Salgado. Contreras. Kiffy. Nice high chip. Far post got it in, and it's a goal. Josue Aron Gomez. Have a game. That's a great cross from James Kiffy finding Jose Aron Gomez in that in that Tulsa back line. They're able to finally do it, and you find the head on. Notches one and pulls one back to have the lead for the home team. Locomotive FC coming at him again. Salgado in and out. Low cross. Touchdown, and it's another goal. Jerome Kisa better ties the match. The orthodontist's office is open for business. It's not a brace, it doesn't matter. Welcome back, number 17. Not up the way by Da Costa. Yuma's in there, Da Costa trying to control. It'll bounce out for Fox, doesn't clear it. The shot tipped away by Ketterer. It bounced right to Manuel Gonzalez. And Odias in challenging. And we are past the four minutes. And that is the match. Well, a rescue of a point for Locomotive FC. Eight, nine, and eight. So it was a super frustrating game. I mean, to be up 2-0 and then to go down 2-2, you know, and think that you're gonna get three points and you don't only end up getting one point, it's, it's tough. Um, on the positives, I mean, it wasn't a away game against a team that was is higher up on the table, managed to get a point, and I thought the team played really, really well, especially offensively. I mean, it, it was one of our better games offensively in a while. So, uh, you know, you're proud of the team for fighting, but still at the same time, it's it's tough to uh, to give up those points because you wanted to win so bad, you know. Um, but it's late at night. I uh, actually took melatonin for the first time to really just try to help fall asleep because I struggle to uh, fall asleep after games, and especially when we're playing Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, or whatever the schedule is, and we're playing so many back-to-back -back games like this. Um, I'm trying to take some melatonin so I can like fall asleep faster after the games, get more sleep, and recover faster for the next game. So, and I know like I, I don't want it to be a daily thing, so I'm, I'm really just trying to restrict myself to. Uh, taking it after games so I don't stay up till 3, 4 a.m. just replaying every single play that I played in the game and then just killing and then waking up early for the flight the next day and then you just kill your recovery. So that's what I'm doing. Um, happy to get a point, but definitely would have wanted three points <laughs> for sure. All right, guys, good night. All right, now it's 6.30 in the morning. We're about to leave for Rio Grande. Rio Grande, Rio Grande, we're about to leave for Rio Grande. Um, I slept really well. This was the best night of sleep I've ever had um, after a game. I think I fell asleep within like five minutes of the light going off, and then I only woke up once in the night. And usually, it's, I, it takes me like three hours to fall asleep, and I'll wake up multiple times in the night. Mason, how'd you sleep? 
Uh, okay, I fell asleep pretty quickly, but I woke up a couple times. But yeah. Mason took a melatonin as well, and I'm not a doctor. I'm not saying that you should take one. Don't listen to any medical advice <laughs> I, I give. Um, I'm just testing stuff out for my career. Uh, always seek medical medical professional advice. Always, you know, don't just don't sue me. Don't sue me. Don't do anything stupid and sue me. Um, but I was just testing it out and I had a good first experience, whether that was placebo, whether I, you know, whatever. But I liked it, so I'll probably do it after the Rio Grande game as well. But I don't want to do it every single night and turn it into like a, a habitual thing. But packing up right now, heading out to Rio Grande. Mason, thank you for filming. You're professional. I should start paying you. You should. <laughs> you know, I know you fell asleep so quickly. Huh. You heard my breathing? Yep. <laughs>
Um, and that's it. So we're just hanging out. It's like seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the morning. What time is it? Seven o'clock in the morning. So we have like another hour and a half before breakfast. So yeah, just chilling. This is gonna be the theme of today. It's gonna be just chilling. <laughs> Watch. I'm just back from breakfast right now. For breakfast, we just basically had like eggs, uh, fruit, some sausage patties. There was cereal and just like the normal, all the normal breakfast stuff, coffee, juice. Um, now we're headed out to training right now. Uh, it's gonna probably be this normal, typical pre-game training that we always do. Some warm-ups, some rondos, possession, maybe a little bit of tactical like positioning work, and then set pieces. So yeah, looking forward to that. It's early, it's like 9, 15 in the morning, so we'll leave here pretty soon. And uh, yeah, I'll get some clips while we're at the stadium and, and training and everything. I'll start the campaign, bro. You already know, I got you. I got yeah, you. Behind the car, hey, hey. Yeah? See me like I'm behind the car, I am done. That was the most humidity I think I've ever trained in. Uh, maybe back in 2016 when we played like Kansas City or something. But out there it was like 70, 75% humidity and it was like 90 degrees. It was so, it was it was hard. So now uh, I'll show you what lunch is. We have this. We got some food from McAllister's Deli. It looks like, what is this? Uh, some chicken sandwich or something. Fruit cup, some chips, banana, cliff bar, and then some Gatorade and water all to get ready. Um, so I'm gonna have this. And then honestly, what time is it now? I have no idea what time it is. Where's my phone? 12.45 and we have until 6 p.m. and that is 6 p.m. is dinner. So we're done for the rest of the day. So like I said, the theme of today is just chilling. So we're gonna be chilling for the next five hours, go out to dinner, come back, chill for another few hours, go to bed, and then tomorrow just chill all day, have a little team meeting, and then just wait until game time. So for the next 20, 30 hours, for the next 30 hours, it's just gonna be pretty much in this hotel room. So let's, uh, let's do it. Let's start the rest and preparation for the game, AKA watching YouTube videos and Netflix. Theme of the day, just chilling, <laughs> like I said. Uh, Mason actually has a friend here who plays for RGV, so he's out hanging out with him right now. I think everybody else is just chilling in their rooms, watching movies, just hanging out. Maybe some are playing cards and stuff. But um, yeah, I think I might start editing, answering some emails, doing something. It's 3.30, so we still have two and a half hours till dinner. Yeah, just, <laughs> just chilling, <laughs> just chilling. <laughs> It's one of the funniest videos I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. You're I keep getting so many ads to, like, on Instagram, on YouTube. I get them on YouTube, yeah. Hey, Calvin, what's up? Hey, you guys want to be in his box? <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> what's up, boys? What's up, boy? Very good, very good. <laughs> very good. Hey, Mason, yeah. how was the food? Hey, you what? Clean up in there. You clean up. <laughs> Did you get my bed? My bed's kind of messy, so I don't get it. I didn't, I didn't get it yet, but I will get it right okay. now. Clean up, this is embarrassing. Well, those are clean clothes, they get a fold. Uh, what'd you ask them? Hi, what'd you think of dinner? That's pretty good, we had pasta again. <laughs> <laughs> so, pasta again, pasta and chicken and, and vegetables. Bread. We had vegetables tonight, that was good, because yeah. I had broccolini and spinach. So yeah, that was, I know, actually, I don't feel, yeah, last night I felt bad, but yeah, tonight I, I felt good. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't look too hot. And what's, <laughs> what, what's the plan for tonight? We're gonna chill again, <laughs> if you can believe it or not. Just chilling, just, just chilling. chilling We're gonna watch, try to watch a movie though. Oh yeah, maybe Hot Rod or what else did we say? Step Brothers, maybe. Step Brothers, Pineapple Express, maybe yeah. something with Danny McBride in it. Mm. Big Danny McBride fan. Danny McBride, if you're watching, I love your work. He does. He hit me up. He already watched some of my vlogs. So. It's sick, actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So we realized that the uh, USA Mexico friendly was on, so we're watching that right now. Um, and also, it's Mimi's birthday today, so I've been just talking to her all day, and she opened up my present, so I FaceTime her and just uh, was kind of with her for her birthday. It's always hard, you know, with this profession. I think for the last like five years that we've been together, I honestly think we've been together for two birthdays, maybe three birthdays. So, you know, it's, it's tough. Oh God. 
Good pass. <laughs> I would not want you to make that pass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that literally has to be inch perfect. Dude. Good morning, we've been up for like 20 minutes or so, slowly getting out of bed, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we're just having a cup of coffee right now, chilling, and yeah, it's game day, so that means that we basically just chill all day. Just chilling, baby! Just chilling until around 5 o'clock when we leave for the stadium. I'm really excited for this, for this game today against RGV because not only is it going to be a huge game, like every game is so important, but also they have a, a beautiful stadium, beautiful pitch to play on. So it's going to be really, really good. Other than that, just take you along as we go through throughout the fun-filled, exciting adventure of today. And yeah, Mason, how's the coffee? Yeah, it's not very good, but it works. It works. <laughs> Hotel coffee, what do you mean? That, was that a Keurig? Yeah, yeah, it's really watery, but... It's okay. Coffee. It's still coffee. Alright, just got back from breakfast. Um, here comes the exciting part of the day where we chill. Just chilling! <laughs> We're just, we just chill until our team meeting at 1.30. So we have like four hours to kill. Um, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna watch uh, Vice Principals. Uh, actually, I'm gonna watch some Ter Stegen videos first. Uh huh. And then Vice Principals. And yeah, pretty much it. Maybe. You're gonna take a nap before or after the meeting? I think after. After? Alright. So yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's the plan. Um, we're about to head down for a team meeting where we do like film review about the other teams. So we're going to watch RGV's like build up play, their defense, and kind of like just analyze it so we have a, a better understanding going into night. And then we'll have uh, lunch, and then we come back here to chill for a few more hours before we finally leave for the stadium at 5.15. So, heading down there right now. Um, yeah, but uh, it's good. Fun-filled day, like I said, boys and girls. <laughs> Uh, so we're back from uh, back from lunch and the film review. Um, lunch was the best meal that we've had on this trip so far, by Very far. Good. Very good. It was really well cooked chicken, some steak, brown rice, uh, zucchini, sweet zucchini, sweet potatoes, and then I had like a Pedialyte drink and um, some fruit. So really good. They also had pasta and everything else. Um, but yeah, so we probably gonna take like an hour. I'm gonna probably take like an hour nap. Mason takes like. 10 to 20 minute naps. I like to go longer, so I'm gonna go like an hour long nap and then uh, just kind of chill. <laughs> just chilling for the next- uh, Just chilling. For the next two, three hours, two and a half hours, and then we leave for the stadium, finally. It's, it's almost here. So uh, I'll catch you guys after the nap. Good night. Okay, it's like five o'clock, so Mason and I are just about to head out to go down to the lobby to meet up with the team, to take the vans over to the RGV stadium, and finally, play the game tonight, so let's go. Last, any last words, Mason? Let's go!
Tulsa in this game. As you see, the RGV boys run across the halfway line. Tulsa kicks us off from left to right. Some headway there to Costa. Out to Mirano into the box. Uzo! Oh, it's wide. Uzo with the outside of his right boot nearly hits the target, but it's a goal kick. Especially moving forward, you know, it's a player that you're going to need without a doubt. So it looks like this free kick will be taken before the sub. Small steps up. Wonderful strike, but it's off the crossbar. You see him clapping on the bottom of the... From Carlos Ball to, to be aggressive in this type of opportunities, but, you know... Jose Rodriguez on hand with you. HEB Park in Edinburgh, Texas is the site. Playoff implications on the line. Chance here for RGV. Enriquez picks out a teammate. Shot comes in. Good stop by Lewis. Maybe an opportunity again on the far side. Nico Lemoyne lets it run, and it's a corner kick. Here comes RGV again. Lemoyne out wide. Samuels made the run. Enriquez with his left boot. What a save. Sean Lewis bails out Tulsa. And it's a corner for RGV who are knocking at the door. Tulsa on the other side of things we mentioned, it's second most conceded goals in the West. They gotta feel pretty good that they've somehow kept a clean sheet so far, but can they get the reward for doing that? Lovely back heel, onside, and a goal! It's Marlin! And it's Tulsa on top in Texas! His third goal of the season, and are the Roughnecks back in the playoff hunt? Take another look, the back heel from Da Costa. And Marlon with the shot. Altamirano. Cuts back, loops it in. Tulsa, huge chance, player goes down. Play continues, and somehow Tyler Derrick keeps RGV alive in this game. Here's it's another first, look. Yeah, it's first Altamirano, and then Da Costa. All with his noggin. Oh my goodness. How on earth did Tyler Derrick do that? I mentioned the heat. Tulsa, if they do make when they do make that change, we'll have no changes left. So they'll have to keep that in mind as Gonzalez hits the bar as he went for glory. And the substitute almost put a dagger in RGV hearts. Goodness, what a strike by the substitute. Yeah, Gonzalez just... Uh, to see him back on, but we will see, we'll keep an eye on him as the play goes on. But for now, it's still 11 v 11. Here comes RGV. The strike comes in. Lewis saves it. Sheldon didn't quite clear it. Chance there initially. Samuels back in, deflected out, and it's a corner. But this, without a doubt, is a great chance for RGV to get back in the game. Martinez... Miscommunication, floated goalward and headed off the line. For an RGV free kick, here's the header off the line from the last attempt. And yeah, it was it's the captain. A, a great effort on both sides because, you know, Carlos Small recognizes that the goalkeeper. Ball is blasted forward towards Carlos Small. Small is whistled for the, for the foul. Yeah, I think right now... And that's it. It's the whistle, yeah. It's full time. Huge win. Absolutely huge win. We got four points for this trip, which is... We should have got six. But coming back off of a long road trip, two games with four points is absolutely amazing. We played really, really well. Uh, I'm so proud of the team. I'm really happy with how I play defensively. Just really happy. Just uh, It's amazing. I mean, winning and getting three points is just the best feeling in the world. Um, yeah, on a high, honestly. It's just celebrating that and, and it's, you know, this is what you work so hard for is all the three points and the celebration and the good feelings after the game. There's there's nothing like it. Smash and grab, baby. 1-0. Let's go. <laughs> and four days off this next week. Yeah, yeah. You're going back to... Uh, Tampa. Tampa. Yeah. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, I leave at 5.20 a.m. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Awesome. Three. We get the win tonight, too. Huh? Win tonight. We, we, Let's we go. Got the we win. a hug. Oh. Good stuff. You were shut down, bro. Shut down, Sheldon. So shut down, That's Sheldon. what they call me, you know? <laughs> Seriously, bro, man. You had yourself a game. I appreciate it. All right, so I am going to uh, just pack up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I'll film going back to Tulsa, and then I'll catch you guys back in Tulsa. <sighs> so, so happy right now. So pumped. Woo! Amazing trip. So pumped. All right, see you guys tomorrow morning.
So it's about six o'clock in the morning. We're about ready to go down and meet in the lobby and then just head out back to Tulsa. Uh, I can't even explain how happy I woke up this morning around like, I woke up at like 5 a.m. just thinking about the game, thinking about plays that I made, thinking about how the team performed. And it's, it's just such a good feeling to wake up after that and to know that you've you know had a successful road trip, had to get four points, maybe even should have been six points, but got four points on the road really tough schedule over the four games over the last 11 days just really really proud of the team really happy with how i played really happy with everything all right so i made it back to the apartment finally it's been a, it was a long trip a long day and just tiring everything's very tiring back with sheldon sheldon how, was, how, was, how did the week of training go Good man, looking forward to this coming week yeah. when you guys are back in it. With the full, like the full squad of like 25 plus That's guys. what I'm excited for. We were training with like 9, 10 players, so mm -hmm. ain't easy. Yeah. All right, but uh, the next video, I'll talk more about Sheldon, how everything's going here as well. I'm sure you guys are watching his videos, keeping up to date with his journey and everything. But this is the end of the video. I hope you guys really like the inside look for a long, week-long travel, playing two games. Great trip. Really happy about everything. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys. Peace. Mm -hmm.